Good morning. So this day has not gone as planned. I was gonna wake up and like film this cute little vlog for you guys, but reality is a lot of stuff went down this morning. Let me get some coffee. I'm gonna be having some whipped cream after this brutal morning that I had. I go to IU and I'm in this class and it's psychology statistics and I originally wanted the online class so that I had more time in my schedule but I ended up loving my in-person psych stats class because I couldn't get in the online one because it was it was full so I had to be on the wait list. So I got on the wait list because my brain was like I want this class so bad. I want it more than the other classes. And so, well, we'll see like how it goes. Like my schedule's gonna suck because I have so many classes, but you know what, we'll give it a chance because there's no way I can get on this class anymore. Cause I was like 15th on the wait list, I think. And I hadn't, heard, it hadn't gone down. So I was like, I'm not gonna get in this class. <sighs> this morning I get an email from IU saying that, oh, let me tell you about why I love my class. I love my class because she has a whole Harry Potter themed class like everything's Harry Potter It's so much fun. She's like got us working on our assignments in class. We have exams in class But they're all like help like you can get help on them. You can get like use your notes You don't have to memorize any formulas. It's like all very helpful and in person and I was like I need this for statistics because I've never taken a statistics course So I love her class. So I've only went to one class. So this morning it tells me that it dropped it i was like dropped it i was like i'm literally in this course how could it have dropped my course that i'm taking that i've turned in assignments for that i've like literally been attending and so i call the office of registrar because they deal with the the class scheduling and like everything like that so i call them i'm waiting on the phone with them for a while they're like acting like they can do something about it so i'm waiting see what they can do about it they end up saying, there's nothing I can do. The class is full, there's nothing I can do. So I start crying and like, this is as soon as I woke up, like less than 30 minutes ago. I was like, are you serious? Like literally nothing? And they're like, no. So I had a friend in the class email me her, or send me her email. So I emailed the professor and I basically begged for it back because I was like, I love this class. I'm looking forward to it. This is one of the only classes I look forward to. Um, I did want the online class at one point and I don't want it anymore because I love your class so much. I was like, please let me know if you can like somehow get me back into the class like I've already I was already in the class and so she was like yeah like for sure she's like I'll add you as a teacher added student and then if nobody drops by the end of the week because I'm first on the wait list she's like then um I can just add you as one more extra person I was like bless up like thank you so much to this professor for like being so attentive and she answered within minutes of my email so I had a crazy morning I was expecting to be like a lot more chill and like an aesthetic vlog but sometimes it's just not the case and sometimes you have like are you trying to kick you out of a class like I'm literally relieved that I'm back in the class I was in yesterday I'm just frustrated with the way it works and like how I can't get back in or that it didn't ask me hey since you're taking this class right now do you want to drop it first can we have permission to drop this class that you are in so that sucked we're moving on i need to read my bible i need to read my bible before i leave because only god can help me with my attitude right now so what a stressful morning i'm gonna put some makeup on even though i never do my makeup so yeah i'm having coffee i didn't show you guys because i was just too stressed this is basically just gonna be a day in the life. Hopefully it gets to be a little bit nicer and like more aesthetic as we go along. But I also didn't wanna be like, hey guys, good morning. I had a great morning this morning. I was also really sad because I, I have my planner and I'd already filled in everything for this class. Like all assignments, all due dates. Like I was just, that would have been so bad if I couldn't get it back. I have a class in an hour and a half, so. I gotta start getting ready for that and walking there cause it is cold outside and I gotta like plan 39 right now okay that's like warm okay we're good okay so i am going to i'm gonna go get ready and i'll see you guys soon i'm probably gonna have this for breakfast because i don't feel like making anything and this is like yummy so i'll see you guys when i'm done getting ready <sighs> i did my makeup i only put on mascara and then concealer and like powder because that's how i feel like i need I'm gonna read my Settle My Soul devotional book and a little bit of my Bible and then I'm probably gonna leave for class. I'm gonna go ahead and read my Bible and then I will talk to you guys soon. So 
I'm all ready. I'm wearing my Sperry boots with thermal socks, jeans, and this sweater. And I'm gonna head to class. I'm gonna take the bus, I think. I might walk. It really just depends how cold it is. I've been walking everywhere to my classes, so I've been fitnessy. I'm just really glad today worked out. I was just really stressed, and now I feel a lot better. Now, we're gonna go to Organic Chemistry 2. Cannot even believe there's a two after that. And I did all the readings for class, and my professor is kind of monotone, so I'm gonna try to pay attention. It's just gonna be hard. I'm gonna head out now. I added some fun accessories. forgetting to vlog <laughs> since I ate. I read a bunch of articles for my honors class about failure and how we can learn from it. It's very interesting. It's talking about failure as a positive and how we should encourage and enforce failure to succeed and how that should be normalized and not like made such like a stigmatic thing that happens. And then now I'm learning about bioanthropology, so she's pretty. So we're just talking about prehistoric things but i'm very excited for all my classes um bioanthropology organic chemistry to failure and how we can learn from it psycho psychology stats and i'm a utin so that's very exciting i love all my classes so i've been doing right now is taking notes on this chapter then i'm gonna try to take notes on my chapter from that's due tomorrow and then i have to write a paper tonight like a short paper and i have to go to class and then i have a staff meeting and then my mom is coming up for dinner so we're gonna go out to eat so it's a cram schedule and then after staff which is gonna end at 10 i'm going to do some more homework and study so sorry you're all wobbly you're on my water bottle so <laughs> sorry for forgetting to vlog i won't do it again actually i make no promises but all right i'm gonna study some more I'm really hungry for a snack, like chocolate or something. So I think I'm going to grab something chocolatey. Might eat Pocky. I love Pocky. So yummy. I think I'll eat that. Now I'm going to make a list on my Notion website I use to like plan. So I want to tell you guys my new philosophy of school this year. What I'm going to do, what I've been trying to do, is stop my work at 6 p.m., which all my classes end before 6, so I don't have that problem. My plan is to get up every day and like get up really early, so like 6 or 7 a.m., work all day until 6 o'clock, and then that's it. Then that's I'm done. Like This is going to be a different day because I woke up late. I had a stressful morning. I like... Did I like chilled out this morning because I was so stressed so now I'm gonna take a little bit of time tonight to Kind of like do my homework that I missed out on today But every other day I'm or every day I'm going to try to stop my work by 6 p.m. And just take a break and like play my switch read my book get on my phone Also hang out with friends because last year I didn't make any time for like me And I feel like that's also really important in school is you also have to take care of yourself today I'm going to be doing like as you saw some stuff that I wouldn't usually do past 6 p.m But because like my mom's coming up because I had a stressful morning that I missed out on some stuff I needed to do. So today's one of those days where I didn't quite follow what I wanted to do, but tomorrow I'm going to follow it again. And I didn't have to work out today because my workout program, I don't have to on Wednesday. So I have to leave in 10 minutes for my class. I'm still feeling stressed about this class that I like lost and then got back because the professor says she's waiting till the end of the week to put me back in. And I'm like, what if she can't? But I'm trying to just stress about it and just be like in the moment. Cause right now I'm not a full-time student. I'm a part-time student, but I'm not taking enough credit hours because I had to drop the other class using my stress ball. So 
I'm back from my psych stats. The bus was so full. I'll put some videos here. I just took them on my phone because I didn't want to whip out my camera. But yeah, I talked to my professor about my class and like what the heck is going on and she said that after this first week i can submit something to like actually be like put in the class and then she can accept it so it's in like her hands right now i'm just coasting on 11 credit hours hoping that i don't get in trouble for not being full-time and an ra because you have to be full-time student and an r if you're an ra so now i'm gonna work for like a solid 30 40 minutes i have my first utin thing today and i'm scared i have to like help teach orgo i'm so nervous but i also have like my office hours i just feel so like professional and old so <laughs> that's really exciting i'm just gonna be solid working and then i made this new spring playlist on spotify i know it's not spring it's like dead of winter but i love preparing for spring so i'm gonna listen to that it's just like happy vibes so that's what i'm gonna be doing and working on some of that to-do list stuff that i have to do so got done with my discussion i'll talk more about it in the car because i'm about to go meet my mom and sister so i'll talk about it then hello she's alive so wow i feel bad for the people in my discussion it's not that i don't know it i just was so unprepared and like everything i thought that it was like like everything that i thought was like how we did discussion last semester is like changed so I just felt like stupid it was just like silly but I'm gonna do better next time I'm gonna know what I'm talking about I'm just a little confused but I'm gonna go eat at Malibu Grill which is a yummy burger steak place so we're gonna go there and I'm gonna meet them there so I'm gonna go now do it again I didn't get it <laughs> about to get on my staff zoom meeting so I gotta go on that, like it's on right now. So I will do that and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> that meeting felt like a thousand years, but now I'm going to my friend's gri my friend Grace has his dorm and I'm bringing her dinner, like canned soup. And yeah, that's it. I'm going there right now, I'll show you guys Boomy her pug. It's her emotional support pug. I love him, I'm gonna show you. Shake. Give me that. <laughs> hey, give him a He's like, I ain't seen no treat. Are you doing it or me? You can do it. Alright, come here. I'm gonna move the sock. No. You gotta sit, buddy. <laughs> sit. <laughs> sit. He's fine for his life right now. No. Alright, now let's do kiss. Sit. Aww. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to bed. It is around midnight, getting close. I did not get everything done that I wanted to today, but I got everything done that's due. Sorry, I have my retainer in. But yeah, this is like a crazy time because I'm literally working in a class I'm not in. I just have to pretend that that's normal and like not freak out. I'm gonna head to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking along this like this functional vlog but i appreciate the support and i love you guys so i will see you guys in my next video bye